welcome to my class. Our lesson for today is all about computing of test statistics on a population mean. Our objectives are determine the appropriate test statistic to be used in the given problem or situation, compute for the test statistic value with respect to the population mean. Now, let us begin with an activity entitled, Is it P or Z? Here, let us identify the appropriate test statistic to be used based on the given information. Write T if it's T test and Z if it's Z test. Let us read the given situation. The sample mean is 345 and the sample size is 46. The population is normally distributed with a standard deviation of 11. Test the hypothesis at 0.05 level significance. Given the null hypothesis, which is mu, is equal to 342, and the alternative hypothesis, which is mu, is not equal to 342, analyzing the given, which is our sample size, illustrated in the given situation, which is greater than 30, given the sample mean and the standard deviation, here we're going to use C-test. Now, let's have again a set of situations. Test at alpha, which is 0.05, the null hypothesis, which is mu, is equal to 2.19, against the alternative hypothesis, which is mu, is less than 2.19, with the sample of 18, mean of 1.36, and the standard deviation of the sample, which is 0.14, assume that the population is approximately normal. Based on the given, the n is 18, which is less than 30. Based on the given situation, the test statistic that we are going to apply is t-test. Next, the sample size is less than 18 and the standard deviation is 3.67. Again, highlighting the given sample, which is 18 and is less than 30, the test statistic that we're going to apply again is t-test. Now, let us identify what test statistic are we going to apply based from the following given. Here, if you're going to observe, the sample is 24 which is less than 30. Therefore, the test statistic is t-test. Next is the number of sample, which is more than 30. Therefore, the given test statistic is z-test. Now, let us now describe this given two specific test statistic, which is used for hypothesis testing. The first one is z-test. If the sample size is large, where n is greater than or equal to 30, and the population standard deviation is known, we're going to use z-test. While for t-test, it is used when the given sample is less than 30, the population is normal or nearly normal, and sample standard deviation is unknown. Now, let us discuss the formula for z-test. We have z is equal to x bar minus mu divided by sigma all over the square of n, where x bar is the sample mean, mu is the population mean, n is the sample size, and sigma is the population standard deviation. Remember, z-test should only be used if the given sample is greater than or equal to 30. Now, let us compute the z-value given the following information. Let's have the given. The x bar is 70. The mu is 71.5, n is equals to 100, and sigma is equals to 8. Utilizing the formula, let us substitute the given. We have 70 minus 71.5 divided by 8 all over squared of 100. 70 minus 71.5 is negative 1.5. The squared of 100 is 10. Now, 8 divided by 10 is 0.8. Dividing 1.5 divided by 0.8, we have negative 1.875. Now, let us use this given problem for us to be able to determine the application of z-value formula. In the past, the average length of an outgoing call from a business office has been 140 seconds. Manager wishes to check whether that average has decreased calls after the introduction of policy changes. Sample of 150 telephone calls produced a mean of 135 seconds, 
with a standard deviation of 30 seconds, perform the relevant test at 1% level of significance. Let us enumerate now the given. We have the mean of the, the sample, which is 155. The sample, which is 150. The mean of the population, which is 140. Standard deviation of the given sample, which is 30. Using the formula, let us now substitute the given. We have 135 minus 140 divided by 30 and divided by the square root of 150. 135 minus 4 and 140 is equal to negative 5. The square root of 150 is 12.25. 30 divided by 12.25 is 2.45. Dividing negative 5 by 2.45, we have Z is equal to negative 2.041. Now, let's have another given problem. In the first semester of the school year, a random sample of 200 students get a mean score of 81.72 with a population standard deviation of 15 statistic and probability test. The population mean is 79.83. Use 0 0.01 level of significance. Let us enumerate the given. We have the x bar which is 81.72, the sample which is 200, the mean of the population which is 79.83, and the standard deviation of the given population which is 15. Applying the formula, let us substitute the given. We have 81.72 minus 79.83 divided by 15 and the square root of 200. 81.72 minus 79.83 is 1.89 and the square root of 200 is 14.14. So we have 1.89 divided by 15 all over 14.14. Now, solving for 15 divided by 14.14, we have 1.06. Dividing 1.89 divided by 1.06, we have the z-value, which is 1.783. Now, let's have the formula for t-test, where t is equals to x bar minus mu over s divided by the square of n, where x bar is sample mean, n is the sample size, mu is the population mean, and s the sample of standard deviation. Remember, the test should only be applied if the given sample is less than 30. Now let us try to compute the t-value given the following information. Here are the given. x bar is 129.5, mu is 127, n is equal to 12, and s is equal to 5. Using the given formula, let us substitute the given. We have 129.5 minus 127 divided by the quotient of 5 and the square root of 12. 129.5 minus 127 is 2.5 and the square root of 12 is 3.46. Dividing 5 divided by 3.46, we have 1.44. So 2.5 divided by 1.44, the t value is 1.736. Now, let's have a given situation and apply the formula for t-test. The government claims that the monthly expenses of a Filipino family with 4 members is 10,000 pesos. Example of 26 families' expenses has a mean of 10,900 and a standard deviation of 1,250. Is there enough evidence to reject the government's claim at a given alpha of 0.01? Let us now enumerate the given. We have the x bar, which is 10,900. The sample, which is 26. The mean of the population, or mu, which is 10,000 pesos. And the standard deviation of the given sample, which is 1,250. Using the formula, let us now substitute the given. We have 10,900 minus 10,000. Divided by the quotient of 1,250 and the square root of 26. We have 10,900 minus 10,000 is equal to 900. And the square root of 26 is 5.10. Now, simplifying and getting the quotient of 1,250 and 5.10, we have 245.10. Or dividing 900 by 245.10, the given t-value 
is 3.671. Next, let's have this activity. Find my z-value. With the following given of x bar which is 21.75, mu which is 20.83, sigma which is 2.75, and sample n which is 38. Using the formula, let us substitute the given. We have 21.75 minus 20.83 divided by the quotient of 2.75 and the square root of 38. 21.75 minus 20.83 is 0 0.92, and 2.75 divided by the square root of 38 is 0 0.446. Therefore, the value of z is 2.063. Now, let's have another activity entitled, Find my t-value. Here, let us solve the t-value with the following given. We have x bar, which is 16.4, mu, which is 15.86, s, which is 1.25, n is equal to 21. Using the formula, let us substitute the given. We have 16.4 minus 15.86 divided by the quotient of 1.25 and square root of 21. We have the t is equal to 0 0.1454, which is the Difference of 16.4 minus 15.86. And the square root of 21, which is 4.58. Solving the 1.25 divided by 4.58, we have 0 0.273. So 0 0.54 divided by 0 0.273, the value of t is 1.978. For our summary, we have discussed the two given test statistics. The first one is the C-test, which is used when the given sample is greater than or equal to 30, and T-test when the given sample is less than 30. Now, you may open your module on page 9, activity 1, with our activity titled, Find my Z-value, which says, find the computed Z-value of the following. Write your answer to the nearest thousands. Show your solution. For activity 2, page 10, entitled, Find my t-value, compute the t-value of the following. Write your answer to the nearest thousands and show your solution. And the last activity, page 10, activity 3, entitled, Compute me. Solve the following. Write your answer to the nearest thousands. That's all for today, class. Thank you for listening. And always remember, aim high, senior high.